Hey, welcome back to the channel. So if you watched yesterday's video and you thought to yourself, um, Dennis looks a little um, like, like he's on the struggle bus a little bit, um, then you were perceptive because uh, I really was. I mean, you know, when you're doing something that's gonna be on the interior of the plane, it's gonna be hidden away forever. No one's ever gonna see it. You don't really think about, you know, exactly what it might you know look like and um, but when you're doing the exterior and you're getting to the finishing stage um, I, I want it to be I want it to be right and uh, I was like second-guessing myself and you know I um, the actual process I actually didn't have that um, down um, the way I wanted to so it was a bit of a challenge having to um, think through that. Uh, so what I did is what I usually do. I go home and I pulled the, the manual back out. I studied it again. And there were a couple of uh, a couple things I did that weren't right. Now I could use the magic of editing and I could just make all this go away and you would never know the difference um, if I did anything right or wrong or um, uh, if I went back and corrected it. And um, you, might not, you might not know. Um, and uh, but I we show the good, the bad, and the ugly here. That's the whole point, you know. It's this. This is a process for uh, uh, when you learn. When you watch me learn, you learn, and that's the uh, that's the point of the channel. So it wouldn't be right of me to um, to hide that from you. It's better to expose it so you can learn from uh, what I'm doing. So here are the steps and and that are important here. Um, number one, you apply the glue as I did. Uh, now, the one inch overlap um, means that uh, you have uh, one inch of fabric here that's going to then get overlapped by an inch of fabric here. So if I have, uh, uh, if that ends up being two inches, then there's going to be like an inch hanging over. And then when you glue the other one on, you're gonna have an inch on this side and an inch on this side, so you end up with a two inch overlap. Um, so uh, what I had set up and what I started doing was actually something closer to like a three inch overlap, which is just excessive and it's not, it's not necessary. And actually it made it a lot harder for me because after I transitioned around the corner, I then had these flat areas, um, which you'll see, that I had to deal with. So anyway, step number one, apply the glue uh, on all the edges, just as uh, we did, that was correct. You don't apply it to the big plywood areas. Um, later on, after you shrink the fabric, you, um, you put a bit, little bit of a thin mixture on there and rub that down and it attaches itself to the structure uh, during that phase. Number two, um, you lay your fabric out, um, just like I did. And then you tack it on all the corners, kind of on the round portion here. You just tack it. It ends up being a 16th inch, 8th in, eighth inch line. If you've ever done um, monocoat or any uh, the, of the uh, plastic films on model airplanes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So you tack it on all the edges. And then after you do that, you set your iron to 275 degrees, not the 200 degrees that I was trying to work with yesterday. I had that wrong in my head for some reason. The 200 degrees, I believe, applies to tapes. Uh, after you're kind of ironing down the edges, it does not apply to um, when you're trying to tack down the fabric. So you want to set it to 275 degrees and you tack everything um, once you get um, it tacked. Uh, so number three, I think that was one, apply the glue. Number two, um, you tack all the edges. Number three, you go ahead and trim your fabric to the correct, um, the line that you want. So I have gone about uh, somewhere around an inch past the curve uh, is what I wanted. Um, so I've, I've gone back and I've trimmed that all now um, where it needed to be. And then number four, then you take your iron and you iron down all those edges. And what it does is uh, the glue underneath sort of activates with the heat and it attaches the fabric that you just trimmed to it. Um, and then after you get that done, then you go back and you apply number, step number four is you apply the glue 
through the fabric that you just ironed down and um, that's the uh, that's the process so uh, yesterday I was working around it through it um, and I wasn't comfortable I did no harm here like I didn't hurt anything nothing there's no problem no one will ever know except for you and the world now but that you know that I had originally started down the path that I was on I tried a couple different ways of applying it um, they just weren't the right way and it, it it wasn't it wasn't wrong like like it wouldn't have really mattered in the end except it would have mattered to me because I wanted to be right so um, yeah, so anyway, we're back on the right train today. So let me uh, show you uh, what we got going. So I just went, I went back and trimmed um, these edges here. And I'll come back with a, like a, just kind of a gummy eraser. And I'll pick up all this extra glue um, that's left after I peeled the fabric back a little. And then here you can see I've actually trimmed it where I want it all the way down. And, um, now the step is to, for this part, it's to come in with the iron and, and we're going to kind of roll this over and we're gonna, we're gonna iron this down. So we just roll our iron over the edge, iron it down. And then when we get all of that in place, then we will come back and uh, we will uh, apply the glue, the glue over top of this fabric that I've ironed down. So you can see my uh, uh, iron here. It's uh, probably just cooled, cooled a little bit because I was working with it. So anyway, um, yeah. So I'm going to um, I'm going to continue to um, get this ironed down, and uh, I did the same thing over here. I corrected my a mistake I went back and I peeled the fabric back I trimmed it I'll come back and iron all this down and uh, and then I'll pick up the glue later with that gummy eraser and once I get through that then we will um, I'll get all these ironed down um, then we'll uh, we'll jump to the next step all right so now I've got uh, everything ironed down all the way all the way around so now it's just a matter of coming through. Um, whoa, hey, that loaded up pretty easily. <laughs> a lot easier than I expected. Needed a rag handy anyhow, so. All right, let's try that again. So now we're just gonna brush the glue down through the fabric. Didn't have to, didn't have to glue all the way over. I'm just doing it uh, because I already did um, down there. So uh, like I said before, we're going for that two inch overlap, um, which is basically you know, from here, you measure two inches, and you've got your overlap. Um, so what you have to do is you just do a little section um, like this, and then before that glue sets up, I mean, you get a space like that. When you rub it with the rag, it also helps too, but... Um, get to you get that then you just come back with a dry rag and you wipe off the excess and then uh, keep moving all right, so now that we've got that, uh, we've got that all done, all the way around. Everything is uh, everything is trimmed, glued down. This glue is uh, dry now, 
Uh, and uh, we are all set there. As you can see, all the glue areas. This looks really good. That's what I was hoping for. Um, now, uh, I have uh, moved the iron to um, 250 degrees. Now we will begin uh, shrinking the fabric. So, all right. So we just uh, we just gently apply the heat here, and you don't want to go too fast. You want to give it a little bit of time to a little bit of time to once you pass an area, you want to let it let it shrink, um, and you can go back over it. And it'll reveal right away where the uh, wrinkles still are, so. I'll get you down a little closer to the action here so you can really see what's happening with the fabric. Um, it's just kind of a... There we go, you can see the, uh, see the wrinkles right there. Um, I'm just kind of hitting hitting this area and then I'm just giving it an opportunity to just go ahead and as it cools off a little bit it shrinks so And then we just work our way up the uh, work our way up the fuselage just like that. Um, now she's nice and tight. And what I'll do is after I get the whole thing shrunk, I'll come back and just make a pass over it one more time, just to make sure I didn't miss anybody. So, um, all right. So here we go. time I have today I've got some things I need to do um, this afternoon but it was uh, great to get kind of over that hurdle that I was fighting with in the last video that you saw um, much easier when you uh, follow the proper procedure um, it just went a lot smoother and so I've got that shrunk 250 degrees is the uh, temperature um, no need to shrink any further it's a lightweight airframe and so there's no uh, there's no double shrink, no two temperatures. So now, uh, all right, I'll wait for that guy to take off. Um, so now I've just got the fabric laid out for uh, for the side, and that'll be uh, I should be able to get to that tomorrow. And. We'll get the same procedure. We'll roll this back. We'll get our glue on where we want it. We'll glue over our fabric here because you uh, you have to, to attach. Uh, you have to re-glue over the fabric that already has glue on it. So, um, but we'll go over that when I get to that. So, um, yeah, it's looking good, feeling good, and uh, I'll catch you later. Okay. 